Okay, now in this next video, I'm going to show you how we can convert the data that we have here in raw data into a table. Now at this point, if you're following the series of videos, so far you've already set up a macro to import the data and you have set up a macro to automatically execute the import data macro as soon as the workbook opens. That way, every time your user opens up the file, the report is automatically updated. So now in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can convert this data into a table because once you have it as a table, we'll, we'll then start using it as, um, as a reference for a pivot table and a pivot chart. So there's a couple of ways to go about doing this. The way I'm gonna do it, I have my raw data tab selected. I'm gonna go on and select A1, and I'm just gonna do format as table. This is in my home tab, format as table, and I'm just gonna go on and select, you know, you pick your color option. I'm gonna select this one and it's going to say my table has headers, it's giving you the range, I want to select OK. So I want to make sure my macro is going to work because this does change This does change a few things here. But table name, I'm going to call this school data. I'm working with a gazetteer file from the census website. Now I'm going to clear this out, but before I do so let me just try running the macro. Import data, run and you want to make sure that nothing has changed and if you notice as when I ran my macro it's no longer a table I don't have a table tool tab up here whereas right now when I had formatted it it was a table reason behind that is because when I created the first macro of import data and I clear the contents I'm clearing cell A1 it's very important I'm, well I'm actually clearing this entire row from A1 to, all the way to M1 you have to make sure that you keep your first row there otherwise every time that you delete it the table is going to get deleted so I'm just going to change my macro to B1 to M999999 so instead of it clearing the entire sheet it's going to clear pretty much from I meant to put it to it's going to clear everything from A2 to M2 down so let's just try this again I'm going to go on and do home format as table, select OK, I'm going, to, I'm going to call this school data again, and let's try running that macro again. Macro run import data, and there you still have it. You still have this table tools option that's on the top, so go to table tools, it's still considered school data. So if I was to clear it out, but remember, don't remove row one. Just going to clear the contents from row two going down, and I'm going to run my macro again. All right, it's still set up. So again, this is very important because we're, we we want to keep this as a table because this table is going to be our reference when creating a, um, a pivot table. And I'll give you a real quick example on that pivot. So when I, we do a pivot table table or range instead of having to select the range we're going to just going to do school data and hit ok it starts to read the read the data and i'm going to show you on a, in a later video how to work with the with the pivot table but you'll have all the data over here where you can now start dragging information over and that way you can begin setting up your pivot table with with data in it and again this video does is not going to cover how to create the pivot table this is only showing you the reason why if we want to create this as a table, convert it to a table, and then still make sure our macro works. So I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.